spiritual numbing amen spiritual numbing amen because i'm telling you church you're gonna see that more and more in this day and hour all right you're gonna see people amen that don't want to give their all to god all right you're gonna see people amen that will criticize the worship and the praise yes, amen yes sir But I'm gonna take you through some things, amen, that can cause your life to go numb in the spirit. Some circumstances, people, amen, that have hurt you or whatever it be that you're facing, amen. I can feel the Holy Ghost, amen, that some of you have not let go of some things. All right, Jesus. Come on. All right, come on. That there is something still there, amen, attached. Yes, sir that you may not understand that's weighing you down. All right. But you can come to a service, amen, and feel numb in the spirit. And I say this, amen, with all respect, amen, because we have had church, amen, with probably less people than this, amen, yes, and have had some church. Yes, sir. Are y'all with me? Amen. Yes, so I know that each and every one of us, amen, knows how to get down in the Holy Ghost. All right. Amen. Amen. I remember a time where um, many of you may not know who this is. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez was fighting. Amen. Yes. And I remember a long time ago, I don't remember who he was fighting, but I remember he knocked somebody out. And we all went from sitting down, and I remember my cousin had, uh, my, my cousin uh, Tweety, we call him, had just broke his leg. And once that knockout happened, I'm telling you, each and every one of us jumped to our feet, including my cousin that had just broke his leg. And he was with crutches, wow. hopping on one leg, cheerful, amen. But some of us don't even remember, amen, the time that God defeated the enemy in our life. All right, come on. Man. Some of us don't remember, amen, the time, amen, that we could feel that crimson blood flowing from Calvary. Yes, sir. Amen. Can I get a witness? Yes, amen. Yes, sir. I, I, I'm going to break some things, amen. I, I feel it kind of tight in here, my God. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm just going to preach truth, amen, in this hour, amen. Some of us, amen, have become numb, amen, to the spirit of God. Right. We can feel God, amen, or maybe it's just the air conditioner in here, amen. You get a little bit excited, amen, right. but you're not really excited, amen, for what God has done in your life, amen. You're not really excited. You don't really remember, amen, what God brought you from, my God, because that's why, amen, we come in here numb, amen, and want the preacher. My God, my God. All right. Come on. Amen. Go ahead and throw some stones. Amen. Come on. Amen. Sometimes, amen, we want the preacher, amen, to preach a good message. Sometimes we want Sister Candace, amen, to sing the right song, amen, or else we're not going to get with it, amen. But whatever happened, amen, to the blood that flows from Calvary? Scripture. 
my God, my God. You see, I, I don't know about you, but I get tired of trying to be trampled on, amen, serving God. And I'm not saying the devil is everything, amen, but a lot of it's uh, just the society we live in. Man, they're trying to oppress us, my God. Yes, sir. A liar. But the scary thing, amen, is that people become numb to that oppression, amen. All right. My God. Jeremiah 10, 19 says, Woe is me for my hurt. My wound is grievous. But I said, truly, this grief, this is grief, and I must Bear it. Amen. Right. Somebody say, I must bear, bear. this grief. Amen. 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 If we can all just go to the Lord in prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. God, have your way, Lord God. Move through this service, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Lord God, it's your touch, Lord God, that can help us, Lord God. Get to the place where we can, Lord God, in the spirit, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, my God, my God. Amen. You may all be seated, but don't be seated on the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to try to get a feel for where the Lord is trying to take this. Amen. My God, my God. Jeremiah writes, this is a grief, and I must bear it. Amen. I'm not here to tell you that serving God is always going to be grief, amen, because I told you, amen, that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, amen. There's so much awesome things, amen, in the Holy Ghost. I, I just don't want us to get complacent, amen, in our walk with God, amen, when we come to church, just kind of stand off if you want any, amen, um, the music director to to do their thing and just hope amen that god will just somehow shoot some electric electricity down your body right. amen uh, but, or if the person up here leading or whatever amen says the right thing amen then you will jump and shout amen but I, I i see in this hour amen a spiritual numbing in churches amen and uh, if you don't see any man, I, I, I don't know what planet you live on. All right. Amen. Come because I, I even understand in my own life that there are or were circumstances, amen, that have tried to get me numb time and time again All to right. serving Come God. On. Yes, sir. I remember my mom, amen, used to talk about this generation of, of people that would just watch television all the time. And a word she used was desensitized. Right. I mean, where, where you can try to call a little boy and they'll be on their Xbox, amen, and won't even pay you the time of day, amen. It, it, it's something in this hour that is causing people to be desensitized. It's causing right. people right. to be numb, amen, to, be, yes, uh, to not be sensitive in the Holy Ghost, All my right. God. Yeah. I don't know about you, amen, but uh, I'm not going to be happy, amen, until I see people filled yeah. with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. To I see people crying on our altars. Amen. I won't be happy till I see people delivered. Amen. And don't get me wrong, I love all you all that are here. Amen. And, and believe it or not, but you all, all are dearly to me. Amen. Because I've told you time and time again that many people, many of you have encouraged me. When I was down, when I, when I was going, amen, through some spiritual numbness, I was reading, amen, something that says false worship may be, feel beautiful to comfort and feel good to our senses, but it is still sinful for it substitutes true worship in the spirit and in truth, amen. False worship may feel beautiful to comfort, amen, why do you think so many people serve false gods? All right. And it feels good, amen, to the senses. Why do you think the churches are full? Yes. But it is still sinful, amen, for it substitutes true worship in the spirit All right. and in truth. 
Right. What do you mean, Brother God? Amen. Is that people have become numb to the true yes. spirit of God. Amen. In this hour. Lord, help us, God. Right. Say, Lord. And help us, Lord. Amen. If we ever become numb, amen, to the true worship and All the spirit right. of God right. in our church. Yes, sir. Amen. I was reading about four stages of grief. Amen. Developed by John Bowlby. Bowlby. He says, when someone close to us dies, grief grabs us by the throat and shatters our world into a million pieces. Right. Some days it numbs us to the bone and turns us into walking zombies. Yeah. Other days it pierces our hearts and forces a scream so loud it scares us into silence. Often in our society, painful losses go ungrieved. All right. A divorce, a job, our youth, an empty nest, even our own painful childhoods are never grieved because we believe we must get on with life. Amen. We believe we have no right to mourn the loss of an alcoholic parent or an abusive spouse. We may experience deep sorrow for the family we never really had or the siblings we did not connect with. But these losses need to be grieved before we can heal and move forward. In coming to grips with, an, with any type of loss, we must pass through four stages of grief. We must move through them all, sometimes more than once, if we are to come out of the tunnel of loss, whole again. Amen. I'm not, I'm not going to start reading the whole four stages. Amen. There's a lot to it. But one thing he said was the first stage. Amen. When you experience loss in our, our lifetime is sometimes we start becoming numb to things. We start becoming numb to society. All right. Amen. Loss comes as a shock. It seems impossible to accept what has happened. Yeah. When the shock starts to wear off, amen, the horror of reality steps in. Yeah. We find ourselves lodging for the ways things used to be, amen. Have you ever felt yourself, amen, thinking, God, I remember when it used to be so good serving right. you, amen. I remember when I didn't have to go through the storm and the tri and, and, and the struggles, amen, of walking with you, amen. But I remember in the word of God, amen, some verse says, pick up your cross and follow him. Sometimes we forget, amen, about the things, the cost, amen, that we're going to have to pay, amen, serving God. And sometimes, amen, we're going to have to forget about the things, amen, about just nature and reality and the things it hands us. Some days we appear normal on the outside because we do not grieve outwardly, amen. Right. We allow those things, amen, to affect, amen, how we do things in society, yes, amen. Yes, Sometimes we have to let things out, amen. Sometimes we have to go to our altar, amen, so we cannot get numb in the spirit, my God. Right. Uh, I don't know if you've ever, amen, had some heartbreak, amen, in some hard times, my God. But sometimes we, we don't want people to bother us, amen. We, we don't want people to get close to us, amen. We get kind of moody. We get our, our, our little attitudes when some people right. are just wanting to know what's wrong, amen. Yeah. But we hold these things in our heart, forgetting sometimes, amen, that our heart should be belong solely to the Lord, amen. Yeah. That we should give those things and lay them down in the altar, although you're going, amen, through a, a grief or a loss, amen, or you've right. gone through something. Sometimes you got to understand, amen, not to fail to take it to the altar. You see, I've heard many, many time and time again, amen, where people blame God for something that happened. Well, God, I prayed about this marriage, and it's not going the way you wanted it to go. How about checking, amen, yourself, amen. All right. Well, God, uh, this job, everybody's just on my case, amen. And, and I understand I've been there where sometimes you just have to walk away. I understand that. But we allow all these things to get us bitter, amen. And bitterness sometimes will just be numbness, amen, to reality. Right. We don't want to feel the pain. Right. We don't want to feel the hurt yeah. anymore. Right. Come on. We don't want to feel the heartbreak of, of what some people can do to us. Yes, the right. ugliness and the meanness, amen. Yeah. But we forget, amen, the things in the physical will always affect the spiritual, my God. Yeah. We shut down, we can't identify what we feel or communicate it to 
another person. Oh, that, well, well, they won't understand what I'm going through. Have you ever heard somebody say, well, try walking in my shoes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or you try to talk to a friend that's grieving for something, and you tell them, I'm, I'm praying for you, I understand what you're going through. And they'll look at you and tell you, you don't understand what I'm going through. Yeah. 